continue on with part three of uh, footage that you have not seen yet. Being the salvation of animatronics anyway. That's so sweet. You guys had to completely like redesign everything. Everything. Mm -hmm. And I hired a guy to do it. His name was uh, 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 a guy from Baton Rouge or Louisiana someplace. Well, that's what your first mistake. <laughs> yeah, he had some interesting ideas and, and he did teach us some interesting concepts, but it was nowhere near as quality as the classic rocket fire, which were built like tanks. Still hold up to this day. All right, we'll take a chair. No, thank you. Our fault is that you're, you're witnessing this love that I have for this man, and this respect that I have for him. I've always had, you're seeing me the way he and I always were. And when he and I were around each other, I, I just didn't give any attention to anybody else. Yeah. It was like, it was like, for some reason or other, I, I feel this, I feel like I, I feel like I'm getting magic and genius from him. I get it. I absorb it. Yeah, genius. Oh. Yeah. That's right. And anyway, so, <laughs> no, so, 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 so Bert is going to do this, if he's holding the camera, yeah. then I can devote myself more to Victoria. Get me in here so I can say I was here. So it's going to be the greatest human character that was ever created. We wanted to beat Disney in the human character competition. Because, you know, they had Abraham Lincoln. Yeah. We had Paul McCartney, <laughs> woman who was a great sculptress, to come in and sculpt the perfect Paul McCartney. And she and I worked on it night after night, day after day, for months. And, and you were obsessed with it. I was obsessed with getting it perfect. And, and we, we had hundreds of pictures of Paul McCartney that we were using to sculpt him perfectly. And then finally, and, and every day I go in, I just make one little tweak here and one little tweak there, and I go back the next day and look at it and see if it was good. And finally it was perfect. And, um, and I told her, this is it. This is what I'm looking for. I said, you've done a great job. And she said, okay. And this is sitting on a table. Okay, it was clay. And it was sitting on a table. And she says, okay. Do you have any more work for me? And I said, now, right now, but I will. I, I promise you I will. Because this, I, I can tell you I'm going to need someone with your skill. Because she, she didn't work for me like an employee. She was a subcontractor. She was making much bigger money than an employee. Employees would make 15 an hour, 16 an hour. Subcontractors, 30 an hour, 35 an hour. But, but I couldn't afford to pay that full time. So I paid it for a few months to get the Paul McCartney sculpture. She says, well, I need more work now. I said, well, I'm sorry, I don't have anything right now. But I will call you. You know I'll call you. She said, okay. She took, the back, she took her hand on the back of the head, and she pushed it over and smashed it into the table. Oh. oh. And she smashed the face flat. There was no fixing it. There was, you couldn't even fix it. Even my artist says, there's no way we can bring this back. Yeah. Hi. Okay, so I'm going to run the camera here. There's uh, Val Valentino. Valentino. And there's Sal eating a chicken, eating some chicken. No, no, no. You know what you could do? No, no you're teasing her. Oh, you could, no. <laughs> you're eating the gristle. You could give her the gristle, though. She will She will take that. There you go. Oops. Here, oh, she uh... looks like she got it. There you go. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to tease you, baby. Yeah. Okay, good girl. Now leave him alone. <laughs> yeah, so... Oh. Or... This is uh, this is Earl getting ready for another date with Walt, <laughs> where, he, where he doesn't know he where he's going to end up. Like Earl punched him in the face. Yeah, you know, yeah, what there, happened there? that's just good old-fashioned, everyday latex uh, uh -huh. destruction and deterioration. But the best example, <laughs> the best example of latex destruction and deterioration. I think I know what it so is. So come on in here, and Victoria, there it is. The creative engineering electrical cord. Is that uh, Wolfman? Just so you all know, this cord is still functioning properly. <laughs> yeah, all the rubber worn off of it. The rubber is gone, but the w wires are still working. Okay, this is the. This is really when I need my my uh, my flashlight. Okay, so I'm gonna. Gravity wasn't as big of a, mm -hmm. of, a of a factor. Yeah, boy, <laughs> look at her. She likes you, and look how she's got her paws crossed. So cute. She's just hoping that you'll notice how cute she is. <laughs> you are cute, Valentina. Yeah. But no chicken bones for you. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get rid of these. I'm going to the kitchen right now and throw them in the garbage can. You're not allowed to dig in there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So yeah, we gotta make sure she doesn't Look do that. Look how sweet she is. But if you broke into this place, oh. Oh yeah. Sweetness would be. So where were you gonna use these? Well, these were these actually were used as the outside characters and the buffalo back there were used as the outside characters at the uh, 
Country Bear Jubilee or the Bear Country oh, Jamboree. Just, yeah, just like the yeah. Country Bear Jamboree. So, yeah. yeah, just like Disney. Because yeah. our our customers wanted a a poor boy's Country Bear Jamboree. Billy Wheelbur. That's Billy Wheelbur. <laughs> you know Wheelbur. Do you sell? No. How do you say it? Billy Wheelbur. Billy Wheelbur. Yeah. <laughs> See? And, uh, yeah, in fact, I think Sal invented Billy Wilbur, but Billy Wilbur was actually the forerunner of Billy Bob. You know, Billy Bob was the first one I, uh, well, me and you latched on to, we liked the name. Yeah. And then, then, uh, and then he said, them hippies sure is mean, huh, Billy Bob? Yeah. And we, we said, that's our, that's, okay, that's in the can. Uh, that's one of our. <laughs> and them, them hippies. Now, we stole that line. Who, yeah. was, who would, who do we take that from? Billy Bob, um. Uh, my Billy Bob, but, but we were quoting some comedian on TV. Them's the meanest hippies I ever did see, Billy That's Bob. That's the one. That's the one. Them's <laughs> the meanest hippies. I just love that. It's full character. Uh, so, so Billy Bob was actually um, uh, just yeah, quoting something he heard on TV. Yeah. Uh, when Jonathan Winters mm -hmm. said it on TV. Them's the meanest hippies I ever did see, Billy Bob. <laughs> <laughs> it's a couple of rednecks that got their asses kicked by hippies. <laughs> Which is the opposite of what... I don't know if you remember, but that line freaked me out. Yeah. It said it's so full of character and comedy. Sure. It's it just great. But that's the way it was back in the old days. Rednecks beat up hippies until they became hippies. Rednecks didn't like long hairs mm -hmm. back no. in the seven, early 70s. There's a difference. There's rednecks and there's country boys. Right. There's a difference. Uh, well, country boys aren't necessarily rednecks. Country boys smoke pot. Oh, yeah, yeah. Red rednecks don't. Yeah, rednecks just... Yeah, they just... They don't think they're better than anybody else, but they, <laughs> but they don't care about it. They just don't care. Country boy can't survive. <clears throat> Look at what a beautiful animal. You were saying something about from wow. a graphic. Yeah, I was gonna say. This that. is not the typical rock fire sign. This is a graphic. In fact, I can make this in, in various sizes. In fact, oh, let me show you another one. It's the one I was talking about when I talked to you about it. Yeah, it's a it's a small one. Yeah, that's a perfect size. And how to backlight it. Yeah. Yeah, I really like that. So so yeah, so we need to we need to make that work for you. Oh yeah. This thing. <laughs> you got any your chair? Yeah, bring your chair. Come on in, girl. Now this is the this is the only dog I've ever had that is not afraid of this elevator. Good. Second, second time I've been up to Silverman. Oh, yeah. second? Let me get a one when I met Aaron. Come on. All right. There you go. Oh, thank you, Aaron. Just sit right there. All right. This is really why I wish I had my flashlight. No. Um, but here's what I want you to do. Um, I'll tell you what. You can videotape me. Okay. Yeah. Getting a ride now. So you work the elevator with the chain here. I'm going to pull it under her so she doesn't run off the elevator when it starts moving. Here we go. Oh my wow. goodness. Look at this. Good girl. Let's watch, let's watch the floor now. Wow. What a dog. This dog is almost. End of part three.